Backcountry for Life here. Thanks for coming to my channel. So what I wanted to talk to you today about is packing your, you know, portable compressors. All of us, you know, we're going to eventually end up having a flat tire when we're out on the trail. And so I wanted to just share that uh, there are ways to, to pack these, you know, mini compressors, these air compressors. And I've been doing it all wrong for a long time, you know, to be honest. Um, I've been um, packing them inside my bags. You can see here that I got some Moscow bags and I've been packing them in the bags. I've been packing the, the, the compressor, which I'll show you in a sec, in those bags. And it's taken up a lot of space. And it wasn't until recently that I tried to find a way to get them into my under my seat compartments so you look right here i got a rear seat and then i have the normal seat i'm riding a, a triumph a tiger 800 and uh i just had a hard time and i was able to figure out how to get this compressor into the rear of this seat so let me show you exactly how i did that all right so right here is my seat it basically just lifts up and out and you can see here that what I was able to get in the back is this Desert Fox compressor. Now, there's all sorts of different types of compressors. I got buddies who ride with the slime compressor because it's lightweight, super cheap. This one, I think, sent me back about 70, 60 or 70 bucks. It is solid, though. I mean, it's, it's actually kind of heavy, and that's kind of why I wanted to find a way to get it out of my uh, bags that I, you know, that I ride with because there's just so much weight in the bags and uh, it's totally sealed against dust. I'm not sure how sealed it is against water. I don't know if it's waterproof, but this little air compressor will, you know, um, actually seat your rim, your, uh, your tires on the rim when you need it to. Um, you're not going to be able to do that with a hand pump, especially when you're riding super, you know, hard sidewall tires. I got the EO7s. I had the Mission Trail Max on before, and those have, the Trail Max have really hard sidewalls. So to try and, uh, you know, seal, seat that, that bead of the tire onto the rim when you're riding and you just have a hand pump because you want to be light, you want to go light out on the trail, it's just not going to happen. So um and then there's also i got some other you know there's different components i really like this i'm not doing a review of this of this desert fox compressor today but check them out um it's it's solid it's durable it's reliable and also it comes with all these little extra parts so if you need to you know attach it to the battery or if you need to plug it into a a hella um, USB, it's got one of those attachments. So it's, it's a really cool thing. But what I was able to find out is how can I move this from my bags into my bike so that, uh, you know, it's not something I'm going to need all the time. It's, I'm going to need it in an emergency situation. Well, maybe not emergency, but in a situation where I need to fix my tire and, and, uh, pull out, put in the new tube, pull off the tire from the rim. Um, I don't use it that often and I just keep it in the plastic bag to kind of help protect it a little bit from uh, moisture and stuff, but it is a hundred percent dust proof. So sealed. But uh, anyway, I fit it right here. I actually took out the manual that goes in my, the rear of my seat. Uh, this is the back part of the seat. I took out the manual and usually, you know, try if it's where they put the toolkit, you know, for your bike i have my toolkit somewhere else on the bike it's already in one of my moscow bags but i actually will just put this right in there in here where the the manual was so here's how i nestle it into the rear seat i basically just kind of fit it in between the sections here where the manual would go and then on this one, I have a, an actual gauge that's built into the pump, which I really like about this pump. And, uh, and then it just nestles right there. And then everything kind of just fits into here. I took out the, the Triumph tools that were part of the roadside kit that came with the bike. And I, I put those in my 
actual tool bag, my tool roll. So uh, it saves some space from here. And, um, and so obviously if you need to find a spot for an air compressor, the rear back seat is a great one if you have it on your bike. Um, just take out what's there. And, and then that way you're not carrying your compressor, like I said, in your bags all the time and uh, taking up a bunch of space when you don't really use it that often. So anyway, I hope you like this content and, uh, you know, I'll, I can't do this while I'm recording by myself, but eventually, you know, essentially I'll just close that, that, uh, seat right on and everything will nestle right in there. So, uh, hope you like this content, like, and subscribe if you do, and look forward to showing you some more tips as I come across them on my journeys. Talk to you later.